Are you all still doubting the capability of Ghanaians? Are you still doubting the educational sector here in Ghana? There's a video I'm going to be sharing with you all, but before then, let's have this conversation about the TVET in Ghana. Technical and Vocational Education and Training Schools in Ghana, which is also known as TVET, plays a crucial role in equipping students with practical skills, knowledge that enhance employability and contributes to the economic development of a country. TVET schools in Ghana aim to provide students with and on training on various fields, preparing them for the workforce. They focus on specific skills in areas such as construction, agriculture, business, hospitality, and information technology. Civil institutions offer programs ranging from short course to former diploma and certificate courses. The government of Ghana have been actively promoting TV through various policies aimed at reforming and strengthening the TV system. The introduction of initiatives like the Technical and Vocational Education Training Policy and the establishment of Ghana Technical Vocational Education and Training Service, which is also known as the TV. Let's take a look at some of the videos of the TVET students, what they are doing in Ghana. When I tell you that Ghana in the next years to come will be competing with different countries that are not even Africa. Let's watch this video, guys. This is an intelligent tool of This system uses sunlight to drive. We have seen that in our communities, when we go far, they often tend to do service losses and all that due to improper ways of driving. So with this system, they can pre drive the food before it goes back. To use it, it's very simple. Open this chamber, which is here, then put your food inside. So there's an electronic compartment here that is responsible for watching and to keep track of the temperature inside and outside. So my brother will here will turn on the inverter for us to get used mainly where there is sunlight. So with this system, it will be able to power it. And if you are somewhere where there's no sunlight, you can use the grid system also. So press the switch. Then the system turns on. And when you press this switch also, it illuminates the whole system. In case it's in the light and you can't see, this light will enable you to see what's inside and what you can navigate through the system with these buttons. If you are driving maze or any food truck, you can go online and search what is the desired temperature that you use. Then you use these buttons here to set it to the high and low temperature. There are certain food that they require a range of temperature. It's a heater as an it the system which is able to heat it even in the night. There's no sunlight, outright light. This heater will be able to produce heat for it to be dry. And these fans are responsible for cooling the system. So in case the temperature is high, these fans will have to be able to draw out the hot air. And you can see that there's a shiny material inside. This material is actually a foil, an aluminum foil. That is to repel the heat. So it will not allow the heat to escape from the system. The heat will be kept in it and it will be separated around. The system is mainly used for rural areas with our conclusion that food is lost and it is gone wasted. So we have designed the system mainly for the rural areas where they are in intense farming. And mostly this food loss go with due to improper methods of drying. So with this system you can be able to dry food as you since September 2018, when contracts were signed, five city vets training centers have been earmarked with the centers at Pechi No. 2 in the Ashanti region and Eninim in the Eastern region, nearly ready for delivery. Three more sites at Akumadan in the Ashanti region and Asin Jakai in the Central region are also at various stages of completion. Each center is a state-of-the-art complex comprising fully equipped classrooms, laboratories, workshops, and staff rooms with a focus on food processing, renewable energy, ICT, Electronics, garments and tailoring, autotronics and auto mechanics, automation and mechatronics, among many other globally competitive fields. I've been to scholarship scheme. We have elevated the quality of skills education in Ghana. At both the secondary and tertiary levels, Ghanaian youth have been able to access funding for TVS training in new and existing institutions. So now what's a heater? Unlike any electrical appliance, this only needs sunlight to operate. Hence, one does not have to be bothered about the electricity bills going up, the gas prices going up, or the fuel. This is the water supply. This can serve as your poly tank or wherever your water is stored. Up here, the solar heater panel. Inside, we have solar copper coils that are coated with black. Heated black because black retains heat and the coppers are conductors of heat as well. We have here the hot water storage tank. This is where all the hot water is stored after obtained from this whole process. Here are the backup systems which consist of the temperature sensor unit and the multi-purpose temperature control unit. 
how this works is that the water flows from the storage tank into the copper coil runs through and as it's going through because it's on the sun it heats up so it keeps heating up till it goes through this blue tube here and goes into the total storage tank which contains all the hot water that is obtained through this process as you can see there is aluminum lined in inside the hot water storage tank this will retain all the heat that is obtained from the hot water we have the temperature control sensor and we have the multi-purpose con temperature control unit this temperature control unit will regulate the temperature of the hot water in it so if probably it's nine you can store bath water by regulating the water to a certain degree that you want temperature sensor which will detect what temperature the water is yes this detect the temperature made in the water so we look for problems and we look for a way of solving it. Assuming a disabled is going to move from one distance to another, it will be a big challenge for them. So we build an electric tricycle and it is accessible by the disabled and the able people. This uh, accessing is very simple. This is the ignition, let's open it. So comfortable seating. So in case of safety, there is light and then This is a smart home automation. It allows you to control electrical devices anywhere you are in the world with your phone with the help of an app called Smart Life. When you have a Smart Life app on your phone or on your laptop or your tablet, anywhere you are in the world, you can control electrical devices remotely using your phone. Okay, for instance, I'm not at home. I'm, I live in Accra. I travel to Massey for an, a business trip. Just set up my alarm goes off and we just set up my alarm come back online. To increase or decrease the brightness, I scroll up and I increase the brightness of the lamp and I scroll down. To increase to decrease the brightness of the lamp so when i scroll down you can see i've decreased the brightness of the lamp auto automatically to the type i want it so when i scroll up again it still comes back i come to settings so i can set a time on this lambda with this time i want to go to bed so you this lamp you have to go off so when i tap over here i can bring it to just two seconds and i when i confirm and when it's two seconds this lamp is supposed to go off without me touching it i can turn it back again over here and i still put down the countdown here it's just one second i want you to go off so it's just a second this lamp goes off when I come over here, so I can also change the lighting system to any color I want. You have colorful, dazzling, gorgeous blue sky. So it depends on how you want it. So when I tap on it, the lighting system comes like that. So when we come to life over here, we have reading. And we know each and everyone who reads, it is the brighter light to read. So when you tap on reading, the light automatically changes to white for you. Without you going back, tapping on and off of your electrical switch. So when I tap on working, it comes back. Leisure, it gives me a little, a little brightness. Good night, it goes back to a little warm color. With the ongoing global demand for skilled workers, the future of TVET in Ghana looks promising, especially as the government and private sector continue to invest in the infrastructure and training programs. Incorporating TVET education into Ghana's educational framework is not only beneficial for individual careers, but essential for the country's social economic growth. You all see what Ghana is producing and you also know that many TVS graduates go on to become entrepreneurs, starting their own businesses in their fields of experts, which contributes positively to local economic and global competitiveness. You see guys, Ghana is going global. Ghana is going global. As the industry evolves globally, a skilled workforce through TVET can help Ghana become more competitive in the international markets, boosting economic growth. This is what Ghana TVET education is doing here. We all have been talking about the STEM system of education and also TVET right now is on board here in Ghana. Guys, Ghana is global. Ghana is going to be a country that people would want to be competing with, like not just ordinary people. People from the Western world, the Obroni, the Oyubos, will be here learning things from Ghana. If Ghana continues with this system of education, if you watch this video to this point, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Please turn on the bell notification so you can get notified whenever I post amazing content. And to all my returning subscribers, me that's it. And to all those that are just seen this video, this face, this channel for the very first time, Akwaba. Please like, comment, and share. Drop your opinion in the comment section.